Hello. Or hola. Good day. Good day. Good day. We have another order of names. Right? Hello, Baba. Hello, Green Pinta. Just all the same. During the Reconquista, the battle between Christendom and the Islamic Moors over the Iberian Peninsula, this order of knights, one of many, rose on the battlefield. Now, this conflict definitely became a breeding ground for orders such as Calatrava, which was well before the Crusades or the Holy Land. Now, one, this is one of four Spanish military orders. However, this one began in 1158 AD when King Sancho III ceded his fortress to Raymond on an abbot of the Cisurgian monastery known as Vitero. It was originally a Templar fortress who abandoned the royal castle in 1157 AD, which was then reclaimed by the Christian, or Spanish Christians and monks and soldiers in 1158 AD. Calatrava was left in the hands of Cistercian monks and Navarrese soldiers, who became the first members of this new religious military brotherhood. Now, the rose during the time when other orders, such as the Templars, were thriving. And, and within a year, these brothers cleared the area of bandits, which allowed them to gain popularity, and to expand. They were instructed to defend the fortress from the Moors, who were still in the peninsula at this time. And in 1164 AD, order received recognition from Pope Alexander III himself. And by 1187 AD, the order became affiliated with the Abbey of Moramont. As time went on, they expanded to fight in other parts of Spain during the Spanish Reconquista. For a temporary time, they had to change their headquarters and their name, because the fortress was named Calatrava. And in 1195 AD, they were basically pushed out. Of course, it was the Fort Calatrava that rested on a river, or it is the Giardia. The Moors definitely took this one for a temporary time until it was reclaimed. In 1212, the fortress was thus retaken, securing a foothold in southwestern Castile. For participating in the Reconquista, or Reconquest of Andalusia, the order was rewarded with land in Aragon and Castile, the two most powerful kingdoms within Spain. By the 15th century, the membership swelled over 200,000 members, and an annual salary of 45,000 ducats, the current currency, well, that's not the, current, the currency of that time within the Iberian Peninsula. And they became involved in domestic politics of Castilia. Well, as time went on, as their power and membership grew, some issues arose among the monarchs of Spain. Seen as a threat to the crown of Fernand and Isabella, 
these two monarchs took over the administration of this order in 1489, seeing they had feared that this order might undermine their own authority in the area. It was a little more than honorary association of Spanish nobles. After that, and it was continued on as that association up into the 19th century. Well, that's one other order of knights. You have a good one. Bye.